Here's how you can build high quality backlinks by using ChatGPT's integration with DALI 3 in order to create linkable assets and infographics to encourage other websites to link to you. This can be a great way of building links from proper news websites that are normally impossible to get. Now, obviously we know if you reach out for a link, uh, if you've done some PR work, you've done a survey maybe, yes, you are more likely to get a link that way if you follow the traditional digital PR route where you've done some survey work, you've analyzed the data, and now you basically pitch that story to publications. But what if you had an infographic to seal the deal more? This is known to actually uh, have numerous benefits. Years ago, creating infographics was seen as um, a really valid method of link building because it was just really helpful for bloggers to actually receive this valuable content. And you could embed it in HTML so the image was actually still hosted on your site and linked back to your website. But now I think there's a smarter way of doing it. So I'm just going to get some basic data here for this example. Ordinarily, you want to get your own data. And I've gone to ChatGPT and DALI, and I'm going to say, analyze this data and give me an infographic for my website to accompany the press release for these survey results. So it's got all the data. Now let's see if it can turn it into an infographic. So in the prompt, it's already condensed down a lot of the information. Okay, here we go. So some of the data did not align with the content policy, but these images are looking pretty good. So I quite like that one. Now, obviously the AI is really bad with text. So now we need to go back and just ask it what it's actually on about. So I say, give me the text labels. And it now goes through and explains everything that's going on. Now, another thing I'd like to try is actually making these infographics branded. Obviously, you're not, you're not that keen on having an infographic is to, if it doesn't actually align with your brand. So just an example, let's suppose I were working for RSPCA. They've got some good brand colors here. So what I'm actually going to do is so I just search for extract colors from a URL, grab website colors, color scheme extraction tool. So put the URL in here. Otherwise I go through manually using the inspect tool. So if I'm wondering what color is this button, I can go inspect. And then I'm able to find that exact hex code here. But we want to speed up the process. So that's pretty much all of them apart from the orange. So I'm going to go back to the chat and say, brand the infographic using my colors, that one. Get that orange as we didn't get it before. And let's also get the font. So 
So if we highlight that, we do inspect, we should be able to find the font here. Looks like sans bold area. And the font. Let's see if it can manage that. Okay, here we go. So I wouldn't say it's worked flawlessly. But I think it's some progress, definitely. So what I'd actually be tempted to do is we're, we're all talking about outreach here, saying here's some survey data we've done. Here's an infographic. Would you mind, together with all this content, linking back to our sites? But I'd be tempted to go a step further to increase that conversion rate. I'd actually reach out and say, we are willing to actually create a custom branded infographic for your site based on your font, your colors, so that that's a really appealing offer. So you're not just reaching out, obviously demanding a link. Can we copy and paste this image onto your website that looks completely out of place? Offer them, would you like a branded infographic representing this valuable data? And don't forget this is an infographic that can potentially rank on Google as well. I've done here is I've gone into the Ahrefs tool, finding out what people search on Google, and I've put in cert features includes the image pack. So all these keywords, that's 1,738 keywords, all these keywords somewhere on the Google result, there's an image pack. So you can potentially win that by having an optimized image, which means you want large format, obviously you need to optimize it for page speed on the actual site. Um, but you want to basically include the text, the actual keyword, and make sure that keyword is in all the metadata. So the title, the file name, the alt text. So that way, if you're knocking out infographics like this, you should be able to win quite a few image packs that way. So when you're doing your outreach, you can actually pitch this to the prospective linkers, basically saying, um, not only will we brand this infographic for you, but we'll also optimi SEO optimize it for you. So actually tell them how many searches there are for this keyword and this image could potentially rank for that traffic and get them a serious amount of traffic, which of course gets more exposure for your brand and your link.